So in this section, we'll be looking at computing the first parts of the work. In the previous video, we successfully built our geometry and added our physics. And afterwards, we did mesh the geometry. So we'll continue right from there. So we move to steady and under steady one, you have to go to current distribution initialization. So under there, you know, we have the settings window over here. And we're gonna choose secondary current distribution has to be checked on. For the current distribution type, we want to select secondary because in our work, we used secondary current distribution. The next step is to go to time dependent and in the settings window for this time dependent, we locate the steady settings. And from the times units, we choose D. And we go ahead to compute our work. So we realized that there was an error. I think it talks about the variable that means that O2. So let's go to oxygen. Okay, this part. I think we didn't double check. Yeah. So hopefully after that, I think when we compute, it should work. Yeah. Okay, it's computing. Yeah, so now we finally computed the work, getting results as you can see. Always remember that when there's a slight mistake, it's going to the work our model is not it's not going to compute. We always have to double check all the time. And whenever there's a mistake, comes will always prompt us where the exact error is so that we can actually trace it to identify the work. Okay. Let's go to, I want to look at the times that I did the study. Back to the times. Oh, I just, okay, sorry. I think I didn't add the time ranges. I should have added the time ranges. So that we have some, we're looking at the 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 time ranges for some periods. So we want to change this to, then, 20, 13, Let's compute this two and see.
Oh, it's going to be 10. Yeah. 10. 18. 18. I'm just going to... Okay, now it's confusing. Now we have a computer and it's going to... Okay. Can we go to the electro okay, so we have some plots here. We have the electrolyte current density plot of it. We have the electrode potential versus the adjacent reference plot of it. Unless we come to the title section over here, let's manually change the title. And you're going to make a potential versus a C in the page. Let's uncheck the plot data set edges. I need to uncheck that side. And we locate the streamline. We want to disable, let's disable this streamline. Right click so as uh, on the surface, and we want to add a selection. We select all electrodes. Select all electrodes. Okay. So this is basically the plot of it showing potential versus the SE for all the electrodes. Let's look at the transparency. Okay. And zoom extends. Good.
Let's go to the 3D plot group. Zero and under the okay, you have zero. Okay. So under there, we want to make a plot of the electrode thickness. So this is the electrode thickness, basically the electrode thickness. It's the same 3D plot group that we have. We wanted to do this. I wanted to show you how we did this in here. You get it? I'm going to change this. I'm going to do another plot. So this one shows the total thickness change. And now I'm going to show that this is the total electro thickness change. Okay, so under here, I'm going to change this to offside. Layer thickness. Let me change this one. Let me uncheck the plot data edges. Go to the surface and let me add a selection and I'm going to choose sync at plots and you see only zinc being shown in here. So this one is the potential versus SE for all. It's for all the electrodes and this is for zinc. Oxide layer on zinc. I'm gonna add another 1D plot group. And I'm going to name this as the local corrosion current density. So I want to make a plot to the local corrosion current density. Maybe this title now. Let me pull the legend at the lower right. And let's make this a point graph. I'm going to select only 28.
Okay, so under the expression for the y-axis, I'm going to replace it. And here, let's replace it using a second view current distribution, electrode kin kinetics. Use a local current density expression. I want to double check. Okay, so I want the legends to show but I want it manual. I want it to be done manually. And I want it this way. And let's duplicate this as well. Let's activate particular selection. And in here, I'm just going to select only 22, this region. And for the legends, I'm going to do it the bottom of the leg. I plot. So we have this plot. There's a local current density. Time. So these are some plots that we can make from this work. I'm going to show another. I'm going to make another video about this so that will be the third video but it wouldn't be a continuation it will be a new video so this brings us to the end of our work and if you have any questions kindly let me know and i'll do what to answer all your questions all right so see you in the next video thanks for watching